welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Alrighty guys, welcome back. I don't know what that was, but it's uh, midnight and I'm bored. I'm hanging out with you guys. So let's keep this party rolling. Okay, so we understand a little bit about JavaScript and how it works. And believe me, Rome wasn't built in a day. You really need to get a couple JavaScript projects under your belt before you become a master. But these are baby steps to help you just understand a little bit of everything in JavaScript. And in order for us to understand certain things in JavaScript, we have to talk about the method get element by ID. Because in JavaScript, we're going to be dealing with forms and dynamic content. And we need to learn what get element by ID is. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a new function. And I'll put it in our head tag. And then we'll just output it in our body tag. So what I want to do is create a script. Do script or script type. Feeling lazy. Actually, script type. We'll just take care of business. JavaScript. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and create a function. And I'll call it village park. Inside of here, I don't want to have any condition, at least right not now. I'll make it simple. So inside of our function, inside of our custom function, what I want to do is create a variable. And I'll call it VP. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to set it equal to document. No, not document right. I'm sorry get element by ID and it's in camel case so it's four one two three four it's four words smushed together like that capital E capital B capital I and for here inside the argument I need to give this an ID I need to give this because we're not we're not doing document right because we're not writing anything because if we were we wouldn't be doing it in our head tags we'd be doing it in our body tags this is how we source an element. So it could be anything. I'll just call it please work because I really want this to work first try so I don't look like a buffoon. And if we do execute what we're going to program in the next minute or so, I want to have an alert box pop up and I want it to say ole because we're happy that it worked. Then we can close this script out. Just like that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go and create new script tags. And believe me, you're going to see more get element by ID than probably any other thing in JavaScript. I mean, it's seriously like mandatory on everything. Every form, every slideshow, everything that gets called, you got to get the element by ID. And this is just a quick little example of how this is going to work. So in between these tags, let's go ahead and... What should we do? Let's create, we'll create an H1 tag just like that. But before we close it out like that, I want to go ahead and add in our ID. So type in ID and we'll set this equal to whatever you put up here. And up here I put in please work in camel case. And remember we talked about event handlers. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those now. On click. What is our function called? It's right here, Village Park, in camel case as well. Village Park. Don't forget the parameters. And what do I want it to say? In between our H1 tags, I'll say, I don't know, if we click here, then we have the correct ID. I don't know why I capitalized die, I'm getting tired. And let's close out our H1 tag. Just like that. So let's go ahead and look at this. And this doesn't look right. Why is it? Oh, because I don't need script tags here. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so let's save that. Clean up this no, oh, clean up this body a little bit. Okay, so what we have? We have an H1 tag that we're trying to pull in this function right here. And when we click on it, it should say if no, 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 no. When this reads in our body tag, if we click on this, it should pull up Ole, whatever we executed up here. So let's go ahead and open this up, save this, 
open this up with a browser. I will grab Safari. If we hit OK, if we click here, this is what I want. I thought my H1 tag would look a little bit bigger, but that's fine. I'll click on this. There it is. It popped up. Ole. Okay. So what we did right here is we created a function and we used the JavaScript method get element by ID. We created the ID please work. We sourced it into our HTML and it worked accordingly. So this is get element by ID. We're going to see a lot more of this. You guys just have a tad bit or just kind of a, a hint of understanding of what we're doing with it. And uh, hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.